Hey, 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 folks, what's up, what's up, what's up? Listen, right now I want you guys to share the program, share the thing. I am right now in the convenience of my home, and I, you know, there's a very unique service provided by a company called All Pro. You hear my dog barking? See, all up inside of it. Now, what they do is they come to your home and provide CPR service. Now, I've always appreciate the fact that if someone know and understand CPR they could possibly save a life so I want to show you guys what you need to do in case you have that opportunity all right so we have all the dummies here and the nurse is gonna be coming by shortly but before she do that I want you guys to do this for me share the live share the program share the program hi Veronica how you doing how are you doing Veronica turn it up turn it up share the live share the live guys we're learning CPR today all right we're learning CPR today. Share, 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 share. Chanel, Chanel, big up yourself. Veronica, big up yourself. Press love, press heart. You see? We're ready. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready. And the nurse is here. The nurse is here. Break it down, Zeta. The nurse is here. How we gonna? Break it down. Yeah, the nurse is here. And get ready to learn CPR, guys. Nurse is here. Nurse Leighton is here with the bag and everything like that. I am going to learn CPR, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Get ready for this because today we're learning CPR, all right? Amelia McLeod, big up yourself. Thank you so much. Again, again this is a special ride along. And today we're learning CPR. I see Nurse Leighton right here. She's ready to go. Hi, where is everybody else? Everybody, it's only me and you. Right it's, now. it's only me and you today. Okay, so but we're waiting for about four of the people that are supposed to be coming in about maybe half an hour. Or yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. so I, I wasn't expecting to be on a live today, so uh, you what? know this is not my regular thing. I'm not really a camera person. You know what I mean? So, okay. But I'll do this because I know that you love the camera. No, and well, well, no, it, 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 it teaches is, people. This is, this is a very important topic. So. For my job and for what I'd like to do, I'm, I'm willing to share it. All right, all right, all right. Guys, so you hear that? We're willing to, willing to share. We're going to learn CPR today. So Soft Spice, big up yourself. Avril Isaac, big up yourself. Share the program, share the program, share the program. We're learning CPR today. Turn it up again, Zadie. We have music too? We have just for a part of it. Oh, wow. Just for a part of it. All right. So first, first, nurse, first thing first, nurse. All right. So what do you want me to tell you? So this right. is what I do. So my company is called All Pro NYC Health Services, and uh, one of the greatest services that I provide is providing CPR. So we do CPR. We provide um, uh, training for AED, um, basic life support, um, advanced cardiac life support. We do all of that. We teach first aid, and we teach to healthcare workers. A lot of healthcare workers. And we do, um, like, a lot of people have daycares. And everybody, at least in a daycare, you need to have four or five of your main staff members should be certified in CPR in case anything happens to anybody's child. But more important than that, I've always taken CPR because as a nurse working in the hospitals, it was mandatory. But doing this as a job has made me realize that this is important for everybody right you know i mean you're not in health care yeah you have a family and stuff like this yeah the fact of the matter is is that when somebody falls out or somebody has cardiac arrest it usually happens at home yeah and guess what it happens a lot at family gatherings a lot of times you gather together for thanksgiving somebody's sitting at the dinner table they're eating they're laughing they're drinking all of a sudden you see their face change most people don't know what to do right 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 in my case, my mother, what she would do is break down and just start praying. That's what she's going to do because that's what she knows how to do. But that's not going to save that person's life. Because every minute or every second that that person is out on the ground, their heart is dying. 
Oh, I see. And CPR is all about keeping the blood flow moving in your body. Right, right. All right, so we'll do a, like a quick demo. Yes. Because we have to wait for the... We don't want you to reach way ahead of everybody else. <laughs> so it's a whole long, it's you know not how I mean? long the, the whole okay, process Okay, so usually, take. Um, if I have a big group, today's group is, is relatively small. We have about four people. So depending, we're going to be doing CPR and AED. And that might take about three hours. Okay. But because the group is small, it might take less, especially if we have a group of people that's very smart. Right. If you have people who have absolutely no idea what's going on, right. I'll have to take it slower. Right. So this is really customized training because obviously I take this very seriously. And right. I really want people to know how to do this right. Right. Whether you're doing it for yourself or whether you're doing it for your job. All right. So we got to the brass tacks as they say right so we have all the dummies here guys and I, I haven't done this before so just bear with me as i try to catch up on my skills so so let's talk about the first process so we have all the okay. dummies here so we have all the dummies right this is a nice brown dummy right of course yeah this is a white dummy and then we have a baby, dummy a baby that's dummy. somewhere in between right? right but color doesn't matter when it comes to saving a life right right so we want to save everybody's life we want to do the best we can. We want to do it. We want to be able to do this. And if we're traveling on the train and somebody falls out, right. can we actually help this person? Right. Right? So one of the first things that you do when you come across somebody uh -huh. who is out, you're going to tap them and say, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? You see no movement. You see no breathing. Right. You're not going to sit there for five minutes wondering if he's going to breathe. It's right. like a five-second movement. Right. Once you don't see anything happening, you start doing chest compressions uh -huh. right and you would lace your fingers together and uh -huh. you start pressing on the chest I wonder what the rhythm the rhythm okay so okay the speed yeah. you should be doing 30 compressions to two breaths and right. this is how you would do a breath you would put the neck back right you put your mouth over and close your mouth over the person's mouth and you would breathe and the purpose of doing that breathing is you're gonna see the chest rise right right this is so, so that's how that, that, that is, that is, that is like, okay, so let me get this, let me get this. So you, so see, you can actually do it on that one, on the white guy over there. Right, right. So, so you see somebody pass out, like somebody pass out there. You go yes. like, hey, buddy. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, well, okay, okay, you can do it like that. You don't have to do it necessarily like how right. I did it, but yeah, right. that's fine. So hey, can... buddy, hey. Right, five seconds, five seconds. And meanwhile, you're tapping him and you're looking at the face. Is there any breath coming out? Do you feel anything coming out from his mouth? Uh -huh. If you feel that he's breathing, then he's not in cardiac arrest, right? So you're not going to blow in his face. No. What you're going to do is you're going to start chest compressions first. Uh -huh. And if there's anybody else standing around, uh -huh. you're going to call for help immediately. Right. Somebody call 911. Right. And then you lace your fingers together and you begin your chest compressions. And chest compressions, in order to be done properly, you have to put your body over the person's body. You see right. like how I'm leaning over? I'm not going to be like here. Right. I need to be here. So that way you can have proper chest recoil. Right. And what that means is the chest is, the chest uh -huh. is supposed to go in about two centimeters. Right. In. Two inches, sorry. Two inches down. So in order to do that, you cannot do it properly from here. You need to be like this. Ah. Uh. Right? Okay. Right. And in certain cases, if you have somebody who is really strong, uh -huh. people's ribs have gotten broken during so chest compressions. Careful. You have to be careful, but I'd rather you break a rib and save a person's life than, than not. A, 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 a rib can be easily repaired, uh -huh. but once your heart stops, that's it. Because remember, it. Your travels, it carries your blood all over. Uh -huh. And if that blood stops flowing, you're going to have brain damage. You can get to death very, very quickly. Guys, let me tell you all what we're doing. We're learning CPR. So those of you who, who need to catch up on the CPR, now, this All Pro, they come to your house. Yes, they come, yo, they come to your house, Jed. Yo, if, if you're at home and you got the kids and stuff, they come to your house and they teach you CPR. We're teaching the whole family. The whole family. Yes, we have yeah, the CPR whole family. if you want it. Yes, yes, yes. So so I'm going to learn. So so first of all, okay. the, 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 the thing about it is when you see somebody fall down, right? Right. You don't necessarily want to put your mouth against the mouth because you don't know where the mouth been. Well, that's very true. And that's a concern. That's an individual choice that you have to make. Uh -huh. Um. There are barriers. Pass that red thing behind. Oh, not that one. Right. This one. Because I do this professionally, I have something that I use as a mouth barrier. Right. So I can do that. But for the ordinary person, you're not going to be walking around with a mouth barrier. So it's a choice that you have to make whether you want to do the breast. Right. Let's say this. 
if you really are adamant about not putting your mouth on a stranger's mouth, right. just do the chest compression. Chest because, compression. Like I said, when you're doing this motion, right. you're helping the, pop, the heart to receive, to receive. blood. Okay. That is more important than anything. If you do absolutely nothing else, right. do the chest compressions. Right. So Don't let, worry about doing the mouth break. Please. So let's do the chest. Let's try the chest compression again. Let's okay. do the chest compression. So like I said, you have to be perched over the body properly. Right. And you put your hand midway in the chest, lace your fingers together. Yeah. And you're going to pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. See, no, no, no. But you can't just put your hand in the middle. Oh. But uh, yeah. I know that you're holding, yeah, your holding phone the and all camera, that, yeah, but yeah. yeah, you have to do it this way. Okay. Right. Right. If you're dealing with a child, uh -huh. it's a little bit different. You might be able to use one hand. One but hand. With an adult, right? You would use two hands. Two hands. So we right. go in. The speed. The speed. Okay. So you know that song by John Travolta. Um, that kind of. Yeah, you keep that rhythm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the kind of pace that you need to go at. Yeah. What's good with the. I'm tired already, boy. I know, it can make you tired, believe me. <laughs> Yo, I might need CPR after I give that person CPR, right? But but really, you're saving a life. Yeah. That's the most important thing. I'm taking mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so when you're doing the chest compressions, you're going to keep observing for behavior and any kind of movement or anything like that. Right. You see the person actually move. So... If you're a professional person or if you're at work, uh -huh. because an ordinary person living at home might not have an AED, right. I personally will want to invest in one of those for my household just in case, because you never know when you have parties and stuff or a lot of people at your house. Right. You want to be able to make sure that you're keeping people as safe as possible. Right. So as a healthcare worker and as someone who does this as training, there's a machine that's right behind your back. The AED machine. This is an AED machine. So it's the automatic hmm. external defibrillator. defibrillator. Ah, yes, yeah, I, I do my homework. Yes. AED, guys, AED. we're learning CPR. If you have not yet learned your CPR and get catch up on it, it's important. And we're going to tell you how you could connect. And they come to your house, they come to your home, your, your office. Yeah. All right? They, they come and they hook you up and they teach your whole family. You have, yeah. you have CPR parties, all kind of stuff. Yeah. All kind of things. All kind of things. All right. kind of things. <laughs> So, if you have an AED, and this one is like... Brooklyn, you're coming along CPR? Yeah, Brooklyn's coming in. Hi, Brooklyn. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> this is a practice one. This is not a real one. Uh, an AED might cost you anywhere from four, I would say maybe 400 to maybe 1000 maybe $1,500, depending on how sophisticated you get them. Right. But they're all pretty basic. Right. right? Where do the AED go? So, what happens now is that if you are doing this, and you're doing this all by yourself... You'll put the pads on, and the thing is, is that it tells you exactly where, where the pads are supposed to go. Okay. So this one goes right under here. Uh huh. And the other one goes to the top of the chest. Right. Right here. So, if you have somebody who is very hairy, you know uh, some men have very hairy chests. Yeah. Like they're like covered in fur. Yeah. So, very hairy chest, man. Yeah, that's not you. No, that's not. So, me. anyways, if you have somebody who has a hairy chest. A lot of times in the kit, you might have like a shaver. Right. Because you'll need to share, shave, shave the, the area, area because it's not going to make good contact with the skin. I right? See. So I that's see. important. The person's skin should also be dry. Uh huh. If they have been, um, if there's a lot of sweat or for whatever reason their body was in water, yeah. you need to take a t shirt and I'm, dry that right. off. Okay. Right? Because that's, not, that's going to cause a problem also. Because remember, this is electricity. Right. So, one of the first things you do, you put the pad, you. Actually, sorry, before I had put the pads on, I should have turned Turn it on, on first. Okay. So let me just backtrack. Right, right, right. 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 So, so remember, exactly. you put, right? you, you turn the machine, the turn AED the machine, machine on. on first. Adult patient. Right. Then if you the place. If the patient is a child, press the child button. Right. So this is an adult that press we're working with here. firmly on skin. See, it's telling you exactly what to Apply do. Pa press pads firmly on skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to begin, I'm going do to continue. Not touch the patient analyzing heart rhythm. Okay. So the purpose of the AED, it tells do you exactly what to do. Do not touch the patient analyzing All heart clear. rhythm. All clear. Do not touch. Shock Make sure that nobody's advised. touching. So I'm going to apply do a shock. Do not touch the patient. Everyone clear. Press the flashing shock button. Okay, so you see, it tells you. <laughs> shock delivered. Okay, so in a real Begin case, CPR. the person's body would start jumping. 
once a shock is applied. Right. Do you hear that clicking sound? Yeah. That's telling me the rhythm to go up. And it's gonna tell me when to stop again. Ah. 30, give two breaths. Oh, I could do it. And it's telling me to do this again. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Give two breaths. Okay. So the purpose of me showing you this and going through this sequence, I'm gonna just turn it off right now because right. it's kind of annoying when I'm speaking. Right. The whole purpose of having this machine connected like this uh -huh. is it takes the, the, the your brain out of this. Right, right. You know, because you might already be really nervous that you're in this situation already. Yeah. You are in an airport and this guy fell in front of you and you're like, oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to do this? Right. Let me try and do this. So you don't really wanna think about, if, if you don't wanna think about in your mind, Counting out the 30 seconds. Right. The, the AD is going to do it do for it. you. Right, right, it right. It tells you when to do the breast. It right. tells you all of that information. Well, I, want, I want to try. I want to okay. try. So I want to try. I use this guy. Yeah. All right. So, so you, you tape, me, you tape, you tape me. All right. So, okay. first thing first. All right. Buddy, what's up? Oh, hold on, hold on. Buddy, what's up? You okay? All right. All right. All right. No, no, no. no. Sideways, sideways. Oh, Not sideways? Front yeah, you need so? to be sideways. Yeah. Sideways. All right. Oh, well, you have big hands. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Not, not so high up. Not so high up. A little bit lower down. Okay. Right here. Right here. Yeah. That's a good one. Go. Yep. Go. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I think your rhythm is a bit too fast. Okay, okay, okay. You need to slow it down. Think okay. about that song. Right. Okay, you don't want to kill the person either. Your force is a bit much. Okay, too much. Remember, remember, it's only two centimeters. Right, hold Only on. two, only two. You want to say hi to your friend? Yeah, guys. Uh, say hi. Uh, hey. Okay, so remember, you might be doing this for uh, about 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes, all that? You could. Because if nobody's coming, right. the purpose of you doing that is you're doing this because 911 is it's not the here way. yet. Yeah, so let me try. Not there. So how okay. to put my mouth over this? Okay, so what you do, you Hold just on. don't you put go. you just don't put your mouth over it. Right. You have to pull. You have to lift the person's neck. Uh huh. Lift like this. Neck. Uh -huh. That's how they're gonna. You have to do this all from the side. Let's from push this side. down. Okay. okay. Tip, tip, tip. Everybody okay, tip okay, it. okay. I'm taking. I'm taking. Yeah. Okay. So you push the person's neck back. Uh huh. And. You're, you're very awkward. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're very awkward. You kind of do it if you're, if you're, let me just show you one more time. Right, right. Okay. So if you have the body sideways, you're just going to, you're Not going to push, push it like this. Uh, you just, just hold it back like that with one hand. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. All right? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, cool. All right, so you do it now. All right. So got, so hold your head back like so. Right. Right. And you put your mouth over. It's mouth. It's okay. It's clean. It's sanitary. This has not been touched by anybody else. I promise. Put your mouth on it. I'm sure you've kissed people. I'm sure you've done a lot of things with your mouth before. You can put your mouth on it. All right. Is that a female one? It could be whatever you want. Right, you could call her one. Joanne. You could call her... Right. <laughs> Okay, you're not gonna cough into no, it. No, I, I, I just felt like I wanted to cough. Okay, okay all, right. all right. So remember the goal is you want to see, you'd like to see the chest move and we're going to, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 you did that really, really good. Ah, my knees, let me, let me get that again. Oh, yes, all right, just two. You did that really well. Okay. You like breathing into the mouth? No, 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 no. Okay. I, 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 that, that's not my favorite part. Okay, so after you've done the breathing into the mouth, you're not gonna like sit there uh, unnecessarily and waste time. Then you go pump again? You gotta keep pumping. Everything is fast. The time frame should only be about five to 10 seconds. Now that we got the, what are we gonna do? <laughs> we did. Right, right. No, 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 no. What do you have to do with the head? Oh, 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 okay. Right. Okay, so that, that, that's very good. That's excellent. 
Remember, I told you about speed and rhythm. How about speed and rhythm? Remember, you're gonna be counting 30. You just can't 30. just be doing oh, wild. Oh, 30, 30. You can't be just going wild oh. like that. It's, there's One, a rhythm to this. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. nine, okay. 10, 11, 12, 12. 13, Okay, 14, this is not like a soca song where you're gonna make your own rhythm. Okay. You gotta just be consistent. Consistency oh. is everything Consistency. when you're doing this, all right. right? All right. So say I did 30. Okay. I did 30. And you did the two breaths. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. You got that part down really good. So that's what you need to do. And then the next is that the EMT staff will come. By the and time. they'll take over. Yeah. And they will do their thing. They'll get the person ready to go. They might ask you a couple questions about how you met the person in this condition. And hopefully you would have saved their life. Right. Hopefully. Hopefully. Wow. So yo, this is harder than I thought. Yeah. <sighs> okay. It's a it's a bit intense, and it can be scary. But the more that you do it, is the more comfortable you'll get with it. Like anything else, if you've done it a couple times, that's why it's important. A lot of people who work in healthcare or people who, um, who just want to know this for their own families. Yeah. They do this every two years to make sure that their skills stay up. Oh. And for those of you. Who just want to know let's just say you've done it six months ago but you're still uncomfortable with actually doing this yeah you can always call and i'll do like a refresher without the certification uh -huh. just so that you can get comfortable doing it so so with this now tell us about the certification process i know you come to you you go to okay. the home yeah so i come to people's homes i go to out to people's businesses uh -huh. um assisted living facilities uh health companies police stations whatever it is right and i will bring all the equipment needed uh -huh. and we set it up you know i show up at a time they make sure that the space is prepared for me and stuff like that or i'll prepare it when i get there right and we just do the damn thing okay good yep. so folks if you're at home and you want to get certification or you have certification and you have to you have to get you have to, you have to get back certification again they have to do this every two years every two every years, two years, every so two years. To maintain your certification. how could people get in touch with you if they want to uh, okay. so, get CPR certified. If they want to get certified, um, they can go to my website uh, and see a list of my services. In addition to CPR, there's other things that I also teach. My company's name is All Pro NY, and the website is www.allprony.com. And my phone number is 516-387-4246. Right. So that's the number to call me. I take bookings. I'm pretty booked up for the rest of this month. Uh huh. Um, but I have other team members that can also help out with doing the training. Right. So guys, listen. You have to get this. You know. I mean, listen. I I go really long because I realize I don't really know how to do this. Yeah. I uh, I, I need to catch up. I need to understand this process because if somebody dead uh, so far falling right in front of me. I have to save their life. And sometimes it might be me alone there. And it's right. important. It's important. The other thing I'd like to, uh, I haven't mentioned is that I also teach first aid. Right? Okay. So first aid is to know, know what to do in many different situations. Like if somebody has a diabetic crisis. You know, in the black community, especially in the Caribbean community, even that African-American community, black people on the whole have a huge problem with controlling their body sugars and their glucose levels, right? Right. So it's very, very common that you might run into somebody whose blood sugar has run very high and you'll need to know what to do. What is the signs of high blood pressure, not high blood pressure, but hypoglycemia as well as hypoglycemia. That's when your sugar runs too low. Right. Usually it mimics somebody who almost seems drunk and their, their brain gets fuzzy, they can't think straight, they're looking like they're going to fall over. You might have thought that they were just drinking a whole bunch of strong rum. Right. But it's more than strong rum. <clears throat> and it's a very serious situation. So you teach, so you teach, teach first aid? First aid, yes. Right. So first aid covers um, like uh, when somebody's out in the sun for too long. Right. We've had a really hot summer here in New York. And a lot of people have been thinking about, um, like, am I getting heat stroke or am I getting heat exhaustion or heat cramps? All those things are emergencies right. that knowing first aid will cover. Right, right, now, right. Also, so, one of the other things, I don't want to forget this. Uh -huh. In the summertime, what is one of the big sports that happens a lot that people do in the summertime? Uh, this is a quiz for you. Um, look, look at what I'm doing. Swimming, swimming yeah. Swimming, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So swimming is really huge. And if you understand first aid and CPR, 
this can help you to save somebody's life who's drowning. Because oh, you I know see that it, that's I see a huge, huge problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't understand what the problem is, but a lot of people who are black, yeah. I'm sorry to say, we don't know how to swim. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's important so to know. Things. It's just important to it's know. It's just important to know. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. so much things that, that you want to do that water is involved. Yeah. And if water gets into the wrong place, you can go into like a cardiac arrest. So knowing how to save somebody's life who might be drowning. Yes. It could really be big. So Guys, let me tell you. Let me right. tell you. CPR, learn AED. You see it here? You see it here? The AED machine. Learn how to use the AED machine, the compression and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Learn CPR and the number again. Give them the number again it's if you want to call. It's about 516-387-4246. Yes. And they come to your home and they teach you this whole thing. And your business. And, and your, your business. Office, your anywhere. office. Your business and you get certified you get certified get the whole family together and call the number or put the number in the in the in the caption learn cpr get certified for cpr i go learn myself and get certified because yeah. you never know you never know all right okay. so guys thanks for joining well, what what's the last you want to add something else oh that's it i just want to thank you for um for listening whoever's out there today um Junior did really well. I'm very proud. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? He's you a little that? bit too fast and that? stuff like that, but he did good overall. Um, and and that's it. So if, yeah. you, if you're interested in learning about this or going through the process, give me a call. Absolutely. Absolutely. L learn the process. Learn CPR. Right? Catch you guys later on Ride Along. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Let's get ready for the rest of the group. Yeah. how fast you're going. Very, very important. All right. <laughs>